And here is Germany's most popular plane from the Second World War. They produced 34,248 of these from 1935 to 1945. 34,000, that is a lot. And this one was assigned to a fighter wing in the summer of 1940. The plane was piloted by Edward Hemmerling, a veteran of combat in France. He was shot down by a British Spitfire in 1940 while escorting Stutka dive bombers that were attacking British ships in the Do Dover Harbor. Two days later, he destroyed a British Blemen bomber near Calais, France during another feast battle over. On July 29, 1940, during another fierce battle over Dover, Hemmerling shot down a third British plane, but his own aircraft was mortally wounded and Hemmerling turned back towards France. His failing airplane crashed off the coast of Camp Black Nez, killing the 27-year-old pilot. In 1988, a man walking on the beach near Calais noticed a piece of metal sticking out of the sand, the tip of this plane's wing. The BF-109 was excavated and placed on display in France, and then later moved to England for reconstruction and restoration. In 2007, it was shipped to Seattle and added to the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum. There's a big 20 millimeter cannon that fires up the middle. It fires right out the middle of the engine. It goes right through the propeller. 20 millimeter cannon, which is big. Can't believe how close the landing gear is together and how small the tires are. Saving weight. The BF 109 is actually the smallest fighter of its kind. It's quite a bit smaller than all the American stuff, way smaller than a P 51 Mustang. Smaller than the ME-262 that's parked right next to it. It's got a small cockpit, small inside. But it's one of the most produced aircraft ever. Ever. I think it ranks third or something like that in the story of this airplane. inverted V12 engine so the exhaust stacks are kind of low there's a cannon coming out of the nose I thought there was supposed to be two more cannons or actually just machine guns underneath the engine that fired forward this one has cannons outside the propeller arc and the wing so this one has three cannons Supposed to have two machine guns as well. I cannot find them. Behind it is a whole bunch of stuff from the ME 262. All the engine cowlings, looks like an oil tank there, a fuel tank. Oh, it looks like it's right out of the belly. I'm dying to see one of these engines apart. I'm dying to see a bit more of one of these engines because apparently there's a little tiny piston engine at the front of this engine that starts it up. It's for starting it up.
This is a BF109G instrument panel. Wow. Very complete. Very original looking. Partially restored. Wow. Airspeed's just way down at the bottom. They had a, an attitude indicator, which is fairly new. Vertical card compass. What do I got down here? Oh, this must be the landing gear. Landing gear switches over here. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's hard to believe they made 34,000 of these over 10 years. There's good videos on the internet of this thing flying. Flying around with their 190 Focke-Wolf. Tanks everywhere in here. They say they have 40 tanks. And this is really special. It would be a brand new Stuka.